So over the last few weeks, uh, we have been talking about money, and we have been talking about how to use self-hypnosis to manifest more money. So most of you have seen this movie called The Secret, and many of you have have tried to use the uh, the techniques in The Secret to to change the condition of their life, right? And and I personally, since I was a kid, I had I guess I have this notion, and I think like I I believe I'm not the only kid that had this notion when I was young that whatever I can imagine it could come into reality, and in the last few weeks I've been using a different technique, slightly different from the one that you've heard from the secret, and it is sort of like a guided meditation. It is sort of like a a a self hypnosis or or kind of technique, um, but it is now. I know many of you who are professors in this town in Cambridge um, like very much to have some evidence based kind of psychology behind it. Um, I'm sorry to tell you that um, I don't have a brain scan to show you about my techniques. Um, I don't have, you know. Some things are just not provable, um, but I can I can only tell you my experience with with it, right?、Um, I think in the last few weeks I've already told you that、um, with this technique I have manifested、um, good amount of money for myself. I know, so like whenever we mention money, even me talking about it right now is slightly uncomfortable, and it is something that I'm trying to overcome as well. But many of you he- hearing about money, hearing about How do people talk about their money?、Um, trying to talk about your money yourself, it could be a very uncomfortable experience. So, I guess like before we can do anything、uh, with manifesting money is to more most importantly、um, learn to feel comfortable about money to start with.、Um, so, you know, it's such a heavy subject that.、Um, You know, you can tell some people whenever they talk about money, they either try to hide it because they're afraid people may take it, or they they want to impress people, so they exaggerate the money they make, and then and then all of a sudden, they, you know, they feel guilty about how much money they have, or or other people give them a negative look, and then they they fold it back, right?、Um, so. Before we can do anything,、um, I just want everybody to like just take a deep breath, and either say it out loud or, or in your mind. That's it. You know, I am comfortable with money. Talking about it, thinking about it, spending it, making it, creating it. You know.、Um, so for for today's exercise,、um, I get I have this idea a few days ago. Um, I thought you know it works for me. It may work for you.、Um, so we just talk about guided meditation. We talk about the secrets. We talk about、um, things, imagination coming to life. All of it's kind of airy fairy, right? But let's do this experiment.、Um, let's try to manifest a thousand dollars in the sh- next little while. So why did I pick a two thousand dollars? So I want to pick something that is meaningful. Now, for some of you, a thousand dollars is insurmountable amount of cash, and for some of you, it's like a penny they found on the floor.、Um, you know, if I if I, if I were to if this exercise were to manifest pennies on the floor,、um, it would be interesting, but like you would not invest、um, as much time and effort into it. And if we make this. Manifestation about millions,、um, you know, is such a distant idea that、um, many of you, including myself,、um, um, we we just kind of dismiss the idea, or we would just come up with all kinds of mental blo- mental block from stop this from happening. So you know, I'm let's do this exercise tonight, and let's try to use guided, well, I call it guided meditation, but、um, this. Method that that I've been using、um, to help you manifest a thousand dollars in your life,、um, and and I want you to keep an open mind.、Um, 
there's, I'm sure you're going to ha you're feeling a lot of resistance uh, to this idea right now. You, some of you will think I'm crazy, but it's not me, right? It's it's you. It's all in your head, right? Um, if somebody were to come up to you and give you a penny and said, "I found a penny on the floor," um, you know, you'd be, hey, you, you you wouldn't question about it, right? So you know, it's the, just just a different number. Yet you know, if you feel uncomfortable with it, you know, just think about it that way, you know. Um, so yeah, so um, let's try. So promise me that if you're giving this, if you really want this to happen, give this a serious shot. Um, practice this technique every day. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, uh, and this will be put on YouTube, um, just go to YouTube and visit this video and, and watch it over and over again. I'm sure this video will also be posted on the CCTV website. Um, I think it's cctvcambridge.org, right? So go there and, uh, and, and watch this video over and over again, just so you feel comfortable with this idea. Uh, or you're already very comfortable with this idea or, or but you know, I'm just using a thousand dollars as a benchmark. Um, some of you may want to lower it. Some of you may want to up it a little bit. Um, it's up to you. So first thing we want to do is um, try to just feel comfortable with the idea of a thousand dollars, right? Um, just just use your feeling to just use your senses. I guess is that's a better word. To, to to imagine what the thousand dollars will feel like, right? Um, is it a thousand dollar in cash? Now this is all in your mind, right? I'm just walking you through um, this exercise. So what does a thousand dollars feel like to you? What does it look like? Maybe it is in twenty dollar bills. Maybe it's in you know, a huge box of dollar bill. Maybe it's in a huge jar of coins and quarters. Um, it's up to you. Use your imagination, or it could be you know a a a number in your bank, which is most likely these days, um, or, or you know, and maybe something that is worth a thousand dollars to you. Well, let's yeah. So um, maybe what's a a you know a check that is a thousand dollars more or less, or you know, or it was in an envelope. You can feel the envelope and you can pull the money out. Now, just first of all, visualize and see in your mind's eye what does it look like with your eyes open or closed, and you know, and and just try to touch the thousand dollars, right? Uh, if it is in cash, you know, if it is in paper cash, see how thick that envelope might be. I don't know if it's twenty dollar bills. I think it would be this big, or I don't know, a dollar bill would be like this big. You know, you know, just try to feel it, press it down a little bit, and see how fluffy it is, or if it is a is a jar of coins. I don't know. Um, we have dollar coins here, right? Um, or, or if you're Canada, you have a two dollar coin. Um, so you know, maybe you know, f feel what it feels like, or it was it's in many jars in front of you. Pick it up and shake it a little bit, and you can like feel the, the jar in your hand. Or if it is a check, you know, um, you can, f you can run your hand on it, and you can maybe you can feel the ink, or you can feel the uh, the imprint. On the check, or it was in a cashier check, or you know, if it was a, a bank statement, you know, maybe you can print it out, or you know, well, in the past I st I got statements in my mail. These days they don't even send me a statement anymore. Um, but you know, maybe you open your envelope and and see a statement in your bank, and you see this extra deposit of a thousand dollars. And you know, just use your use your tactile feeling to feel. To you, I think like to sense it would be a better word to just to just to engage with this thousand dollars in front of you, right? Um, so now I want you to use your all your senses to engage with this thousand dollars in your mind. Um, you know, you can reach out and touch it. You can see it. You can hear it. You know, maybe you can look fit through it. Um, for those of you who are adventurous, you can maybe smell it, and you know this is in your mind's eye, right? You make it, you can like taste it a little bit, you know. If it is a check, you know it's okay to taste it. Now, many of us have been taught that you know what is the most dirtiest thing in the world that is uh, money, right? Because everybody touch it, you never know who touched it before. So I guess like maybe we we all have this unconscious block 
that things that money is so dirty that you know you don't really want to touch it you know when you get it just shove it in your wallet immediately you don't really get to see it um, so this exercise is for you to engage your senses with this thousand dollars in your mind's eye and and just to feel comfortable with it right you know maybe if it is a do it is an envelope of dollar bill just throw it up in the air and you know watch it rain you know it is in all all its form you know maybe you can also imagine yourself seeing yourself so this is a therapy technique right you can disassociate yourself you know maybe you can watch yourself counting your money you can watch yourself uh, playing around with the coins and things like that um, so we don't have a lot of time so you know maybe you can watch this video again and, and pause and 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 really repeat this exercise yourself to until you're absolutely comfortable with a thousand dollars in your hand um, or, or a check or a bank deposit yeah um, all right so and then the next let's take the next step right so what does this thousand dollars going to do for you right um, and and just imagine using the thousand dollars coming in and coming out right because it's just a piece of paper it's only meaningful when you use it right you know so what does this thousand dollar buy you you know um, and just for tonight just be very selfish and just enjoy this thousand dollars yourself just for this exercise just pretend that you know there will be another thousand dollars coming in and you can use that for something else and there will be more more and more money is going to roll into your bank and you can use it for something else so this is just to prevent you from saying that oh i'm going to give it to the poor which is still good i mean you know but like but like or or you know i'm going to give it to my family or i'm going to give it to the people in need which i think it is a good thing and a great thing that you think of that but you know when you say that make sure that more make sure that it is not a a you're not, you're not feeling guilty for having that much money um, because that's what when people say that uh, I'm going to donate all my money to charity or whatever you know they mean it but it's also like a, a, a reaction to the guilty feeling that they, they feel when money comes to them and, and, and then you know they feel like they can't keep the money right or they can't use the money for for entertaining themselves. Just for now, for this moment, just you know, just embrace this thousand dollars, have it in your account, and then and then just spend it on yourself. Maybe it was a a cruise that you want to take, you know. Um, maybe it was a, a a dinner at a fancy restaurant, or or maybe it was this nice hotel that you want to go to, or maybe it was like this new pair of shoes or handbags. You know, just for this, now, you know, and this is an exercise for you to just feel comfortable with just spending it in your mind. I'm not telling you to just go out and spend money like crazy, but you should at least feel comfortable with the idea of spending this, right? You know, money come in and it should go. Um, that's, that's, how it, that's how it works, right? So just now engage emotionally with what this thousand dollar can buy you, you know. And and don't say it makes you feel secure, because like that doesn't do anything, right? Like you want to just because you'll be holding on to that money, right? When you hold on to the money, that means that you are you're extruding a feeling that no more will be coming in. That's why you're holding on, right? It's like it's like if you're in a desert and you know you're down to this one last like bottle of water, you know you don't want to share with anybody else because you don't think there are more water coming in. But this is the kind of mentality that keeps us trapped um, in the in the emotion of of lack, right? So I just want you to now, if you have already, not already done so, just just pick something you want to buy, or it could be a lot of things. But like focus and hone into one or two experiences. And remember, you can always come back to this, uh, either watch this or you can redo this exercise in your head, right? And just feel really comfortable and just feel the kind of happiness. Of spending that money or, or using it for whatever purpose you have and this is the great thing about money right like you can use it for whatever you want everybody is different nobody's right nobody's wrong um, and and just for this moment very important and critically 
this is just between me and you, and it's not really between me and you. This is just between you and yourself because uh, you can yell at your television all day long. I can't hear you. So just just be honest with yourself, and and for this one moment, just um, imagine there's nobody judging you, right? And I think I have run into a lot of people, and they all kind of stumble on this this block. It is. Um, um, feeling that people may judge them on how they spend their money and everything. But for this one moment, just just in your own mind's eye, just enjoy this, all right? Okay. Now, I want you to imagine that this money flows in from one part of your body and flows out to your other part of your body, right? You know, money coming in and money coming out. Money coming in and money coming out. Just have this flow of energy, right? Like if you take a breath in, if you take a breath in, eventually you have to leave it out, right? You have to breathe it out, right? Like um, you can't hoard oxygen. Um, so money is kind of just like that, you know, just breathe in and out. I know this is, you know, um, a little bit off the wall, um, but I have used this technique um, a few, like maybe a few weeks ago, and my whole reality of money have changed in the last few weeks, and it, it came in a very unexpected way. Um, now, I don't want to tell you how much money I make and everything, but, uh, you know, so things have been going well for me since I've used this technique, and I'm hoping to share it so you can have enjoy the fruit of, um, of this technique as well. Now, when you manifest money, um, I want you to, we have alluded to it before, I want you to make sure that you're manifesting it for the joy of it. This is why we had this exercise a minute ago, just you spend the money. Um, make sure you're not, you're not um, manifesting the pain that comes with the money, right? Now, sometimes in the past, you know, maybe money may have caused us a lot of pain or, or it could be a block, right? You know, you can say to yourself, oh, if only I have a thousand dollars, I could have done this. Or if only I have this much amount of money, I could have done that. So what you're doing when you say that to yourself is that you're actually manifesting more blockages in your life. You're actually manifesting more things that stops you from happening. Um, so now imagine money coming in from expected source and unexpected source. Don't overthink it, right? You know, maybe it was it would come in um, a raise, or or it could become in, you know, maybe you've lent up money from before and you unexpectedly people pay you back. Now it's important to like you don't have to know how it comes in, right? Um, let the universe figure that out. All you have to do is just allow it to happen. So just just imagine. And this is just a quick exercise to, to unlock you from, from honing in on how money must come in in a certain way, right? Maybe you have tried to, to, to make money a certain way and it's not working and you just keep putting more emotion into it and you're manifesting more things that are not working for you, right? So make sure that um, your emotions are clear and in pure joy about money, right? It could be, it could come in like a big lump sum, or it could come in a little things, or it could come in little different ways that adds up to a big sum, right? You know, maybe it come in from like twenty different fifty dollars, or it could come in like one big lump sum, you know, or it could be like a, a account that you've forgotten, or or maybe that was a trick um, of, of your taxes that you have forgotten about or something like that. It could come into your life. Um, it, it would feel like, maybe it would feel like something that is dropped onto your lap, or it could feel something very natural, like, for example, it could be an idea that comes to you that you can go and and, and 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 translate that money into cash, or, you know, maybe it's something that you already have, and then you, you see it in a different way, and then you can turn that into money, or you can turn it into energy, right? Now, just imagine how you can manifest the things you want without the thousand dollars. I know this is kind of counterintuitive. You know, maybe it is a nice pair of shoes, 
or it could have come into your life um, without buying it, or it could come into your life a thousand dollars worth of shoes or jacket or now I've never had a thousand dollars worth of shoes, but um, I don't know what it looks like, but maybe you do, right? Like, you know, maybe a new camera or something. Maybe, you know, it could come into your life without actually spending a thousand dollars. That works, right? Or maybe, you know, um, all of a sudden you find like a, a discount travel or maybe your friend is going to the same destination and, you know, you can hop into his van and, you know, you can go to Vegas or, or, or you know, there you discover like a voucher that you never used before and the coupon is worth, you know, that much and then plus a few savings here and there, you put together a trip to uh, your vacation somewhere. So don't get hung up on where this money come from, right? Good. So now I want you to just imagine. You can use, uh, you can do this exercise with your eyes open or with your eyes closed, right? Now just imagine this thousand dollars as energy. Just dissolve this thousand dollars. Now, whatever image you have in your mind, the solid thousand dollar bill or check or or I don't know a car or something or you know a new camera or your vacation just dissolve that into energy that's right just melt that image you have in your mind just melt that into thin air right you can picture this as fog or you can picture this as light now now just reach out with your hand and just feel that energy being absorbed from one of your hand, like coming in from the palm of your right hand, if you're right-handed, and just feel that energy just flows through your entire body and just flows out onto your left hand. That's right. Now just feel the thousand dollars moving in. Maybe you can imagine as a fog or a light, you know, a green light or white light. Just allow this soothing energy to just flow into your body. And just unblocking whatever um, things that you may be holding on about a thousand dollars. And just let it flow out to your left hand. Good. And just open all your mind and open your entire body to receive this thousand dollars in whatever shape or form. And translate that into energy and just let it flow into your hand and flow out to the other hand. And now just feel this thousand dollar energy flow in from your left hand all the way through your body and just flow out of your right hand. And just feel this energy. You can manipulate it anywhere you want, any way you want. And just let it flow through your body, in and out, in and out. And just feel this energy continue to move through your body. Now, whether you're conscious or not, long, long after this session is over. So we have actually ran out of time here. Um, maybe we can continue to do more of this exercise next week. Um, so this is Hypnotist Bernie. Join me next week on CCTV Channel 9, Cambridge.